<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another stream of NG, where we last time we started the game, and we finished the prologue, and now I believe we're going to kind of get into more meat and bones of the game. And I'm also joined with my co-host for these streams. Please go, please go ahead and say hi. Hello. <laughs> Yay, Joanna's going to be with me again, and... Uh, we're gonna just delve right into NG, and um, where my goal for today is to defeat or go through chapter one. So this seems like more of a slow burn already, but um, we'll see what happens. So let's go ahead and just delve right into here, because Ami's missing, and Princess Kaguya, whatever her name is, wants to play a game. So yay. Uh, we already saw the Spirit of Fire, but we'll go through it again. That's been updated. Is uh, We have no idea where the hell Ami is. And apparently only the Urashima war woman knows. So that's probably going to be the first ghost or spirit that we're going to encounter. Uh, Big Brother equals me. Only I can save Ami. The reason the Yuri attacked was because Kaguya set it up. Was this all for real? Sure as hell seems like it. I'm not sure what I had to update it twice. I wish it just kind of just continued to put the two parts together, but eh. Uh, Yuri and Ami also met with her. They got mixed up with the game. It was a black postcard. I said, let's play. And if you lose, then that's what happened to Yuri. She got in an accident, and Ami's missing now. If I lose, is I'm, am I going to die too? Probably. So that's why we're not going to lose. Well... We say, and we died already, like, what, three or four times already? So. Oh, it's just because of a bit, slightly bullshit puzzle. It's not our fault. Yeah, but then we just got to realize that was the very first survival escape, too, and we messed up that many times, so God knows what we're going to be in for, but I but think we'll be okay. the kind of logic we're dealing with now. Right. The day after Ami disappeared. Once I told Aunt Natsumi what happened, she contacted the cops to have them go search for her. As the last person to see her, of course they were suspicious of me. The berserk car, the sound of the flute, and Kaguya. I told them everything that happened that night. Oh, you told them? Oh man, they're not gonna believe your ass. At least he was honest. Yeah, I'm surprised, but okay. Wait, she Kaguya is isn't that isn't that a famous Japanese folk story? Yes, so I understand, Kaguya. yes. Princess Kaguya, yeah. I can't exactly remember it, but it is. The guy who questioned me couldn't hide his smirk. He clearly didn't believe me. No surprise. I could hardly believe all of it myself, and I lived it. Oh, in nature, she she mutes the streams because she is not fond of this, these types of games, so that's why. But she still wants to be in chat, so I get it. The painfully long questioning done, I finally make my way back to my apartment. I slowly drag my feet up the rickety stairs to my door. I'm exhausted. Hmm, the flute's playing again. <laughs> I'm home, but I don't feel like turning on the lights. The quiet dark might help me organize my thoughts. I, I kind of understand that. Sometimes that's how I feel. You know, it's, it's, it's some, sometimes it's calming, just like sit there for yeah, a little I, bit. Yeah, honestly, like, of all the times of day, I think dusk it makes me feel the most comforted. Mm. What should I do now? I speak out loud to focus on the sound. It's my voice, and I should be used to it, but somehow it feels like it belongs to someone else. I've got... i got two options. Let the police deal with it, or handle this myself. The typical kidnapping or missing persons is a job for the cops, as they're professionals. Though, going by all the smug looks I got explaining things, I doubt they believe me. Besides, the Kaguya girl said... Kuya, we'll play with you next. 
let's play the Urashima woman game. Look for the Urashima woman. If you don't play with Kakuya, you'll disappear too. And Ami will never come back. She's waiting for me. What should I do? I give my head a shake. Focus. I have to make a decision. Really? This is a crisis choice? Okay, I will. Oh, I'm gonna go after her. <laughs> Naturally. Good. I mean, to be fair, for him telling the truth, like, if he'd lied because it was such a bullshit story, they would have been able to tell he was lying and been more suspicious of him, meaning they'd have kept an eye on him, meaning chasing Kakuya wouldn't have been that easy. Right. Oh, I'll play her game. I'll play the hell out of it. I'll crush it so hard you won't even have a stage to stand on. Plus, going after her will probably lead me to Ami. I just know she's got to be involved in Ami's disappearance. Mindset, I flick the lights on. Palpatine, good. Good. <laughs> Damn light. Why does, it need, why does it seem so bright this time? Okay. Where to start? Detectives usually search personal belongings to first, right? I open my closet and pull out what I've hidden there. It's Ami's headphones that I found earlier. I should have turned them in as evidence, but something made me hold on to them. I got dizzy out of nowhere after I touched a bloodstain. What was that? <laughs> and there it is again. Ami, bring me some. Uh, uh. Again? Like someone jabbed an antenna in my head and I'm picking up TV signals. But I can't see it clearly. Oh, cell phone's ringing. Someone's calling. Ah, oh, it's a Amanome. Akira, uh, I heard about Ami. The police sure got sure put you through the ringer. It's a good life experience to grow from. You learn a lot. You learn. A, you learn a things fast, as usual. Well, I have a friend in the police department. He went on his way to report to me since it involved a classmate of mine. Sounds like the Amanome family influence extends to the police department. Can you come to Black Rabbit? Tell me everything there while I comfort a heartbroken Miss Natsumi. You freaking... Such a creep. Black Rabbit is, isn't open. Anatsumi is busy. Didn't you say you had a spare key? Anyway, it's me there. Don't make me wait, Ak Akita. Don't just decide on your own. Hold on. And... That's that. Finish what he had to say. He hangs up on, on me. This guy... I grab my bag and leave my apartment, heading toward the bar. Sure, I'll save. Why the hell not? <laughs> I always get a little bit nervous when games actively prompt me, do you want to save? For me, it depends on the type of... means that you're going to need to save because you could potentially fuck up Royal. It's, yeah, for me, for a lot of games, it's either that, or it really just, it depends on the type of game. So far, from what I'm getting here is, it seems for me, you go from one major section to another, hey, save. Um, which I like. Also oh, oh, Game of Death, Amanome Hazuki. What? That doesn't bode well. 
wait a minute. Hmm? Game of Death, and then they had. I'm assuming Amanome and Hazuki are going to be our partners for this. Maybe that's what they mean. This is a chapter where we use them too, maybe? Hmm. Yeah, we'll see. No one should be here, but the lights are on. Uh, Natsumi sits inside looking exhausted. She's hiding it well with makeup, but the bags in her eyes are still there. The bar's closed today. Uh, I'm meeting Amanome here. What about you? Uh, I left something. I'm so forgetful. In her hands is a small clutch that Ami always used. Okay, I'm off to the police station. You can use the bar as you wish, but try not to be out too late, alright? Anatsumi quickly leaves the store. Her steps are so unsteady, it looks like she could collapse right in front of me. Huh? What's this? Papers are scattered over the counter. Ami's face looks back at me above the words, Have you seen her? Oh. Uh, bet she can't stand sitting around doing nothing. I turn on the TV to pass the top while I wait for Amanome. Looks like I, I, looks like I caught the local news. They're talking about topics in the Shinzo Ward. In other news, a corpse of a female has been found yesterday at Yamato Shrine. The Shinza police plan to investigate to determine if this is a possible crime or an accident. The Shrine's administration announced that the park will be closed at night for the next few days. As a result, all events scheduled to take place in Yamato, uh, Yamato Shrine, including a concert by the idol Momo Kurose, has been cancelled. The performance has been rescheduled to... A picture of a girl with silver hair appears on the screen. It's not a cult idol Ami likes. She hasn't uh, she hadn't planned to go to the concert, but I'm sure she'd be disappointed to hear this. So you did come like I told you to. A good boy, a good boy like you deserves a present. Uh, stupid cans. Okay. He tells the can of coffee at me with the word dawn. Dawn. It's got a face of a grizzled, grizzled man who looks like a bandit leader on it. Very clever. Regular coffee is 150 milligrams of caffeine, but apparently this kind has twice that. What do you think? Like a wire to the brain, huh? Fun fact, I mean, the way I, the way you said that was clever. Don, do you know what Don means in terms of mafia? In terms of what now? In 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 the context of the mafia. Well, he's like the leader. Exactly. Or... Yeah. I just find that such a tiny little detail. It's so clever. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so personally, I don't care for coffee, so I'm, I'm just sticking to neutral. Hmm? No reaction. <laughs> How troubling. Anyway, let's get right to it. My cop friend told me what you said during questioning. That girl in traditional clothing is involved with Ami's disappearance. Have you gone crazy? Of course you don't believe me. I would have punched you to stop, make, stop making up things if you told me the same. Hitting me is unnecessary, you, you barbarian. I don't need anyone to believe me. It's my problem. I'll take care. I'll take care of it. Fool yourself as always. Your courageous, your courageous recklessness reminds me of Don Quixote, which I never read. Really, I know, I know of it, but. Never read it, or seen a play, anything related to it. Never heard of it. Um, I'm trying to think of like what it is really about, but it's kind of skipping me or, or at this moment. Uh, but that's what makes you you. These days, we've only got guys who leave all their work for others to deal with. It's rare to find someone like you who takes matters into their own hands. Putting aside whether I believe you're a fairy tale or not. I'd love to see how a guy like you will tackle something like this. Sounds very... 
entertaining. Count me in too. Well, I'm happy that he's gonna help me out. So, but I'm not. I'm not really trusty of trusting of him. So. Oh, absolutely not. Like he's gonna uh, uh, was in the back eventually. I can feel that, it in my bones. Yeah. Character bio uh, further supports that he would be the type to stab us in the back given the right right con con context. Yeah, so I mean, I'm, I'll, I'll be happy that he's gonna help me out, but I'll still be wary about it. And he's all we've got right now. <laughs> I guess you're okay with it. Besides, I stand to gain something from this myself. There you go. Finding Ami will get me extra brownie points and Miss Natsumi. This is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to break through her guard. Ugh. Whatever. I do not know if I can't freeze that. <sighs> yeah. All right, I'm getting pumped. This reminds me when you and I dealt with that dealer who crept too far into our turf. Oh yeah, whatever happened to that guy? I left him with you. <laughs> I wonder. I haven't seen him since then. Maybe he went back home. I heard he lives near the ocean, so perhaps he's swimming with the fishes these days. It'd be smart to drop this topic right now. Oh? A customer? Oh, hey! Wait, how'd she know to come here? What? No, okay. Bursting into the bar comes someone I recognize. Karu Hazuki. She's friends with Ami, so she'd know where, where, where the kid's mom worked. Okay. Yeah, that makes um, sense. It's not to me. I want to know more about what happened to Ami. Oh, Kijima, where's Miss Natsumi? She wasn't at home, so I figured she'd be at the bar. Ami told me where to find it a long time ago. Well, she's gone to the police. I see. Those clothes. Uh, you must be Karadu Hazuki. I see why M Marahashi was thrilled. Pretty cute. Go stick your face in a blender, Seiji. I mean, do you want do you want the the mature woman or do you want her? Are you, are you just a man whore who's gonna go over any anyone? Uh, oh, hello like there, Justin. How are you doing today? <gasps> oh, hi, Justin. Yo. Who are you exactly? And why do you know my name? Oh, are you an FBI psychic detective and you used some kind of mind reading on me. If so, then I want your autograph. I wonder if that's a reference to something. Probably. Hmm. Uh, my name is Sai uh, Saiji Abunome. Not a common last name, is it? If you get what I'm saying, this will go much faster. You're part of the Abunome family. Her body stiffens as she realizes. Anyone who doesn't know Seiji Amanome reacts exactly the same. I'd react the same if I knew him. Mm. Why is a member of the Yakuza here? He's a friend. He's the boss's son, but he's not a member yet. He won't bite so long as you don't mess with him. Could you not introduce me like some dog? Anyway, where'd you hear about Ami Hazuki? Miss Natsumi called me while I was out. She didn't go into detail, so... But you can fill me in, right, Kijima? You've been sleepy today? I hear you, Justin. It's one of those days. Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking the same. I want to hear it from you directly. Maybe Hazuki will believe your fairy tale. Girls love those sort of things. Fairy tale? Which is a show I still need to watch. I think it ended. <laughs> Didn't it? I don't know. I have no interest. I've watched like the first couple episodes and yeah, I'm like, oh, too much. The way they treat female character design turned me off. <laughs> well, unfortunately, a lot of anime kind of does that. 
It really it depends on on the anime though. <laughs> I tell him everything that happened that night. About the van attacking us, about how Ami disappeared, and my encounter of Kaguya. Aminomi's smirk never wavers as he listens. Doesn't look like his opinion's going to change. But Hazuki is completely serious. Her gaze is so intense, it's like she's memori she's memorizing every word that I say. You serious? Yeah. Don't believe me if you want, but... No, I believe you. Well, that was fast. That Kakuya girl he mentioned, she... she must be a spirit. A spirit? What's that? Here we go. What? You don't know about spirit? Are you saying you don't read Moe, Moe's H City featured article in Upa? Hey! Moe! There she is, that's so, the best girl. <laughs> so, okay, you know, I never really talked about this in Deathmark, but we never had an exact date listed in Deathmark. Yeah, so... the closest we got was 50 years after a significant war. Right. So we can assume then it was like 94, 95. Presumably. I'm thinking anyway. And this is 99, okay. like just because context of Y2K right at the beginning. Right. Okay. So and I, I think this is what, what I mean. It's like this is more of a spiritual successor in a sense to Deathmark is because they're both both games have self-contained stories. It's nice to know if you play Deathmark because it's like we now we know who the hell Moe is, but I don't think it's necessary to know who Moe is to like know what's going on here. But it's nice. Given that math, I think Mo but all of the kids would probably be out of school by now. Well, maybe the high Kasa school. and Suzu would still be in high school, but Moe would definitely be out of school by now. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. Nah, I don't read that. Uh, to be fair, Monthly OOP Arts uh, is a minor occult magazine. It shits out tabloid great fantasies about ghosts and urban legends. Maybe go fuck Nobody with any sense reads it. I want to slap the hell out of him. Ugh. It's not fantasy, it's the truth. You think so too, right, Kojima? You believe in ghosts and urban legends? Mm, I mean, he did say what the hell. He didn't even know what the hell spirit was not even two minutes ago. Um, but I do kind of want to get closer to Hazuki. I mean, we, we see what happened in Deathmark. So this whole game is about spirits. So of course I believe. Literally part of the title is spirit. <laughs> exactly. I knew it. Of course Ami's big brother would be like that. Now see, there, there it is again. We saw this image in Deathmark, but we never investigated this particular spirit. Mm. Actually, I don't remember it being this bloody in... I think it might have been. Huh. Alrighty. Spirits aren't human. They say they're what becomes of people who died with a strong grudge. So, like a ghost. They're similar, though they're of the more violent. They have a strong hatred towards the living. That's why they try to kill us. Oh. A drop of sweat runs down my back. Last night, I barely escaped that runaway van. Is there anything else? Well, let's see. Spirits are distinguished by how they feed off of fear. They drive humans to the brink of death 
and soak them in fear and despair. That is their wish. That's all I remember of what's written about them. Fear, huh? Hey, Kijima? This Kakuya told you to search for the Urashima woman, right? Yeah, pretty sure. It's some kind of game between her and me. So, does that mean... The Urashima woman from the rumors actually exists? You know what she's talking about? Well, of course! It's the most discussed rumor right now in the Shinzo Ward Ghost Story forums. Ugh. Yes. His, I don't like his facial animations. Squirt it's the bitch. eyes. <laughs> oh, that's right. He doesn't like ghost stories. That's his nope. weakness. I'm loving this. <laughs> Enough of this. Why are we even floating the idea that ghosts exist? It's foolish and unproductive. Zip it. Hazuki, who is the Urashima woman? It's the ghost of a woman said to appear at Yamato Shrine. The shrine contains Urashima Lake, hence the name Urashima Woman. And, well, about the ghost. The rumor of the forums goes like this. Urashima. Ah, creepy voice. <laughs> um, I I'll go ahead and read this. Okay. You heard about the body of the college girl that was found on the Yamato Shrine, right? Apparently, it was right next to Urashima Lake. I bet the Urashima woman did it. Ah, now you know what? This image... That, that's the spirit on the box art, right? Yeah, and w which is what I'm thinking is basically the unofficial mascot of NG. Kind of like uh, Hanayoke or... Hanayome? Hanayome was the mascot, kind of, for Deathmark. They say the Urashima woman is a ghost of a woman who died in Urashima Lake. Uh, wait a minute. Justin thinks he thinks he knows about this one. Big warning, if so. Oh boy. What kind of warning? Just if you do a, if you do a certain thing at the shrine, she'll appear. What are you supposed to do? Easy. You go to the lake in the dead of night and just throw a rock in. Though I've heard it's up to luck whether you see the Orishima woman or not. According to those who did see her. She looks like a soaked pregnant woman. Oh. Uh, I hope oh, it's not no, a... I think I know what warning Justin was talking about. It's either two things I'm thinking of. It's either it was a miscarriage... Infant mortality. Or... Right. Or... I, I don't want to say abortion, but... It's kind of weird that she's been pushing along that stroller, though. Yeah, I'm not sure too, yet. Max. Me too, Max. Me too, Okay. About that college girl who died. Her friend invited her to go with him to find out if the rumor was true or not. Though they were going to the park in the middle of the night, so maybe they were fooling around. When they reached the boat dock, they used rock, paper, scissors to decide who'd test it. The college girl lost. Nervous, she picked up a random rock and threw it into Urashima Lake. Oh. Well, I don't know how far ahead, but I'm take taking of a baby away from a woman 
and not via abortion. Ooh. Oh, I can yeah. I can imagine talking yeah. about it. The splash echoed through the quiet park. The two of them slowly glanced around. But no one was there. The lake looked the same as well, shining dimly under the moonlight. They must have felt relieved. They laughed together over silly rumors. But I guess they still felt uneasy as they left the park right away. It all started the next day. When the girl stopped coming to classes. Yeah, take your time, Justin. People called her over and over, but she never answered, nor responded to their messages. A few days later, her friends became so became worried, so they decided to go visit her. And that's when they found her drowned body by Urushima Lake. And for some reason, her corpse was swarming with small turtles. Interesting. Hmm. And that's the scary rumor of the Urushima woman. Wasn't that just spine tingling? <laughs> <laughs> I've known he already had a pale face, but now he looks drained of blood. His face has gone blank and his eyes are out of focus. Could it be? You're the type that can't deal with ghosts or scary stories. <laughs> That's right. You got a problem with it? My aversion to the, these types of these sort of things is more or less like you, what you consider a wheat allergy. Meaning, that's just how many my body reacts. I can't help it if it does it. Yeah. That's valid. When I heard you were the son of a boss, I was afraid you'd be scary, but... <laughs> so you can be cute too, I'm Anome. What are you smiling? Why are you smiling? Why are you being so overly familiar with me? Because you're a little bitch. Nice. <laughs> He's been like this since elementary. Ghosts and scary stories are his weak point. He once heard a, stor a scary story on an overnight trip. Couldn't sleep and fainted the next day. <laughs> Damn. I wonder if the Urushima woman Kakuya spoke of is connected to this rumor. I doubt there's more than one of them. It's worth checking. Right, we have to look into it. I was like, get your fake Yakuza ass out of here if you're not afraid of ghosts. <laughs> we have to find the truth about the Urushima woman and her identity. You're having fun with this, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> well, my interest in ghosts and the occult is part of my life's work, after all. Are your weird hobby and clothes because of that occult idol? I think I... I'm not gonna... Yeah, of course, I'm a Momola. <laughs> I think she might be Momo. Hmm... <laughs> you know... We'll see. Wait! Hmm... Because remember how obviously... Oh yeah, it's because of that coat and then she had to leave. Yep. Mm. Concerts. <laughs> that's what I thought, but I'm like, they, I don't know why are they talking about a concert this early? But it's like, oh, yeah. All right, I think I think I think we just inadvertently solved the mystery. <laughs> Plus, the Urashima woman got Momo's. Co I can't forgive her. I agree that we should investigate the rumor. Now, obviously, it's to prove that the Urashima woman doesn't exist. She's really just a pregnant woman on a stroll. <laughs> 
Uh, fear makes the wolf bigger than he is. Right then, let's get going. Huh? Right now? Wait, hold on. You're coming with us? Of course. No way am I going to miss the chance to see an actual spirit up close. What will you do after you meet it? Get an autograph or something? Yeah! I'm kidding. Of course not. I'm not that dumb. I would just love to see one up close, like fans are with idols. Besides, there's also army. Going after the Urashima woman kills two birds with one stone. So, I'll be hanging around for a while, Kijima. Yeah, you know, I'll go ahead and go full happy with this. Why the hell not? <laughs> That's quite the welcome. Let's solve the secrets of the Urashima woman together. And find Ami, of course. Oh, uh, can somebody tell nature we're like way, like way too early for a break? Probably like not until for another hour or so. I don't mind going, but didn't the news say something about the uh, Yamato Shrine being closed at night right now? Wouldn't it trip you for nothing? It's enough to go there and check it out. Besides, you'd be surprised at the ways one can get through well-guarded places. I've heard about die-hard fans sneaking into their favorite idol's dressing room. Yep, she's Momo. <laughs> yeah, it pretty much seems like it now. One of those die-hard fans doesn't happen to be you, does it? I bet she's still the clothes she's wearing from Momo Kiyasu's dressing room. Do you want me to curse you both to death? Clock is chiming. Eh, it's late. If we're going, we better leave now. And keep an eye out for cops. It'll be a huge hassle to catch us. Oh, uh, leave that to me. I know a route that circumvents the police. And why would you know that? I like exploring haunted places. They started recognizing me the more times I So that night with Marahashi. Yeah, I was returning from a haunted place. I'd heard about an abandoned gentleman's club downtown where ghosts- Ghost strippers! <laughs> Oh, boy, it brings a whole new meaning to Ectoplasm. Ew. <laughs> I was lucky, and a window happened to be open, so I was able to sneak in, but... No ghosts showed up, unfortunately. I even waited two hours. Hey, Akira. This girl seems kind of crazy, don't you think? Guess not just her clothes are strange. But she seems to know a lot. Better her than someone will get in the way. Like you. <laughs> yeah, I suppose that's true. If anything, she's not too bad looking, so she might be of use. Sometimes you just need a woman's charms to get what you out of a situation. Uh, you do know I can hear everything, right? We'll leave Black Rabbit and head toward Yama Yamato Shrine under Hazuki's direction. Now the spirit file for the Urashima woman updated. Uh, we know that it's the Yamato Shrine story. The spirits are what Hazuki says are the cursed people to death. The ghost of a woman who died in a lake in, a mat in mater maternity wear. You throw a lot rock in the lake to meet her and that depends on luck. So they say. A uh, college girl tried and she found drowned covered in turtles. Hmm. Okay. You know, if 
dickhead doesn't, if, y if Yakuza dickhead doesn't want to come along, you investigate True. the less supernatural potential sides of this thing, maybe? <laughs> maybe. But what, what seems interesting, too, is like, can we have more than one partner with us in any given moment in time now? True, since what Mary told us about the dangers of life was complete and utter fucking shit. That still pissed me off. A few minutes after of walking gets us to the entrance of Yamato Shrine. Like like we were warned, the main entrance is closed. Huh. So it really is closed at night. Though it is just a, a park, I doubt there's much in the way of security. I measure up the high of the gate. Yeah, I can jump this. You can jump this. <sighs> that, that's a specialty. Well, I'm sure it'd be a breeze for you, Akira. Let's check for security cameras, just in case. It'd be a hassle if they call the cops on us. But the biggest problem... Aminomi glances over his shoulder. A security guard seems super dedicated to keeping an eye out. So late. I figured they'd go home at some point or something. When no one's around is the exact time more security is required. Not everyone is as honest as you, Hazuki. It's just common sense. Hmm. I get the feeling I should put an end to this conversation now. Anyway. May as well try talking to the guy, at least. And yay! Let's take a look at a map first. Take a see what we're looking at here. Um... This is tiny. It's just a straight shot. Huh. We'll see. But I do I still love that you can take a look at the whole I map. Oh, it's so good. Um and because I do so lots, I'm I'm gonna be saving after each like thing that we do. So this takes like ten seconds. I I do apologize, but eh. There we go. Um, what what tools do we got by chance? Oh, just a flashlight. Absolutely, absolutely, Moxie. There was a there was just a dead body found. I think increased security would be necessary. Exactly. Like not just potentially because the criminal might want to clean up evidence, but then there's also Jesus. like the true kind of trap is a thing. So there might be some tw more twisted people who'd want to come in to the crime scene and get souvenirs from the crime scene or try and find evidence that the police haven't found and take that as a souvenir from the crime scene because those kinds of people do exist. <laughs> okay. Um, the hell's I doing in my life? <laughs> That's the map weird. looks like... That map looks like Kylo Ren's weapon. Oh, yeah, you're Actually, right. Uh, yeah, Kylo Ren's weapon, which in turn... By the, by the proportions, I'd say it's either... It's definitely not long enough to be a Zweihander. Probably just a greatsword. Or a longsword. So what I do really like is I feel like the flashlight really does light up things properly. Like, I, I just I, I feel like in Look at the light chip. There's mist. You can see the mist in the light thing. Yeah. No, so like they, they. This is good. I like this. So there's a couple of things we can look at. Especially there's like a letter right here under the shrine or the gate thing. But, uh, cause I'm gonna save the door for last Absolutely. or like the thing. The poster details info on the festival. Apparently, it's for offering prayers to the water gods living in the lake. Okay. A directory of a map of the park. Looks like Odashima Lake is in the center, and a sanctum sits on the island located inside it. The island's called... Uh, Ryugu Island? Ryugu. Ryugu, Ryugu Island? Ryugu? I don't know. Mm, not too sure. Below the map... I want to say Ru uh, Ragu. I'm like, that's definitely not it. That's pasta, but I think. <laughs> you're not right. It is. Below the map is a short explanation about the shrine. The main sanctum, Tamate, is a Rugu Island and honors the water gods Tatsu and uh, Dragon, 
and me, which is Snake. Tatsu and me. Tatsu. Hmm. These gods provide blessings for good childbirth. Oh. Many parents name their children after the deities. To receive that blessing, you throw a rock with a name written on it into the lake when the sun's at its peak. The rock throwing part sounds a lot like the Urashima one's room. Though that one you're supposed to do at night. The inversion be of a ceremony makes sense. Hmm. Uh, be it praying to a god or spooky ghost doesn't change the fact that this is all ridiculous. It's an ingenious way to scam people and make money off the devout, though. <sighs> Most people do exist. Mm. Ugh, you're so annoying. Karma's gonna come back and bite you in the butt for that. Alrighty, I guess that was that. Damn, now you want crab rangoons? Oh, those are good. A crab rangoon looks amazing. Like, it looks like it's nice and creamy on the... It looks like it's been deep fried. I think for the most part they are. Uh, yeah, okay. This Grand Vermilion Tory Gate is proof that this place used to be a shrine before it became a park. Okay. Well, I don't this know if Vermilion says... should be... What was that about Vermilion? Vermilion is red, but it it sounds like it. Don't know why. Mm. There's a flyer on the ground. It says cancellation notice. Looks like a concert was canceled. Hmm. That's an item. Concert. Is this talking about? Uh, yep, Momokurasu's concert. It had to be cancelled. It's weird, but she's become strangely popular recently. <laughs> Who knows why? It's a shame about the concert being cancelled. I was really looking forward to it. I wonder why. I think I'll hold on to this flyer if that's okay. Might be able to hear more about it from the guard. Ooh, that's why I'm glad I picked it up. Eh, for helmet. See what Elsa says. A cancellation notice from Momo's concert. It's got a bland comment from her agency, as well as a heart, a half-hearted apology. Well, damn. Welcome back, Justin. Alrighty, let's uh, talk to the guard. The license station are on. Looks like the guards are working late. I step forward, but Amanomi stops me with his hand. I got this. I've got some experience in negotiating. Have some he, he straightens his shoulders, walks up to the window, and taps it lightly with a knuckle. Oh, um, excuse me. The window to the front desk slides open, and a sleepy-sounding man replies, uh, uh, we here. The park's really closed for the day. Uh, I'm terribly sorry. I actually came to the park earlier today, and it seems I forgot something on a bench inside. So I, was, I came back to get it. Ah, the I lost something scenario. But the guard doesn't seem to be doesn't seem to be softening up. Is it as half-hearted as the Blizzard apology? Oof. That's funny. <laughs> My favorite thing was, this has nothing to do with politics or no influence to China. Blah blah blah. It's like bull crap. Come on, I mean. I don't know why they bother if they're gonna lie that much. If you're gonna lie, do. <laughs> I'm telling you, when when Bl knows how to lie. When BlizzCon happens, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit there with, with like a popcorn and just watch what's gonna happen. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, that's my plan too. Don't you guys have phones? <sighs> Look, man, if you lost something, you need to call management. We're only security guard information here. Management? Hey, I already told you earlier, we're closed. If there's something you want to know, take a look at the directory or the posters. Good night. Yeah, good at negotiating, huh? Ass. <laughs> yes. He was rather pissy. 
It's late. I guess it makes sense. We need to come up with some sort of plan if we want to get any useful information out of him. Alright, how about this? Um, how can I use an item from... Can I go up to here now? There you go. We'll use the cancellation notice. I'll pull out the cancellation notice from my bag. Maybe I can find out something from the guard if I show, show this to him. You should handle this, Akita. I get the feeling he just chased me away if he, seems, he sees me come up to him again. I head out over and quietly tap on the glass. But apparently the Chinese version of that apology is very pandering to China, so they come off as two-faced. What do you expect? Yay. Corporate. I do love the apology. I, I air quoting apology video uh, that Matt Stone and Trey Parker did regarding oh, South Park. I heard about that. I didn't watch it. <laughs> we Park too love it. money and uh, no. <laughs> but like, <laughs> trust uh, me. I mean, I don't. To be like, yeah, I'm gonna call you out on this shit because I do not give a single nano fuck. <laughs> I mean, I don't watch South Park really that much at all. Like, I, I, it's been years and years since I watched it, but damn it, they they, they still make good back. episodes. For... Oh. oh, hello there, Arpanis. How are you doing today? Oh, we want to sarcastically. Good job. Ah. <laughs> uh. I think Joanna said one sec. We're just going to wait a little bit here. In the meantime, I'm going to check up something really quick. I apologize. Do, do, do. Nope. Nope. No. Ooh. There is a new Humble Bundle out right now. The Humble Games Bundle Postmodern. Sorry about that. Mom wanted something. No, you're good. I'm just taking a look at uh, the new Humble Bundle that's out right now. It's not bad. I mean, what for a dollar. What are this time? This one is called Postmodern, so it's kind of like artsy games here and there. Uh, kind of like um, Beckett. I never heard of that one. Thomas Was Alone is a pretty fun platformer. Uh, Rusty Lake Hotel is a Ooh, weird... I, I think I have that on my wish list, actually. I think I have the second one. I don't know if it's I have the a, first. I think it's a, either a point-and-click or a item. I'm pretty sure it's a point-and-click. Uh, and then, I think I heard of this game. Yumi, Yumi Niki? Oh, that's a good game. That's a good that's, game. That's a dollar right now. All it, those games for a dollar. It's really f massively fucking big and atmospheric. Mm. And it's a little bit aimless, but you just gotta find things. There's no, like, plot. There's no directions. There's no text at all. It's just wandering and finding things. Mm. And also this, if, if you beat the average, you pay more than the average, you also get the Stanley Parable. You get everything. Everybody keeps talking about some game called Everything. I guess, I guess you get a... I don't know. Is this a sequel to Yumi Niki? Is Dream Diary? Oh, that's a remake, I think. Remake. Yeah, so you get that as well. The, there's a fan-made sequel to Yumi Niki called Yume Tuki. Which is more hmm. of a pun in Japan because Ni for two is also Yume Niki. So it would be like if they called Splat the second Splatoon game Splatoon. That's oh, I've, I've seen, I watched Nitro Rad's video on it, and it's apparently it's a pretty fucking good get like game because it's as a fan made sequel. Mm. But Dream Diary is the three D. Huh. I've watched a playthrough of it. It's it's really atmospheric. It's so well much. the f the first one was a dollar. Um, if you're interested in possibly grabbing that. If you pay more than fifteen dollars, you also get all that plus Catherine, the classic version, though, not the full body remake. You know, I played demos of Catherine, and I, I'm just too dumb to yeah, look I for that whole puzzle Christ section. Yeah, I watched the of it. The music, just godly, by the way. If hmm. you like like organ stuff, you need to listen to the Catherine OST. It's classical music on like organs. It's it's. It's, it's literally godly. Hmm. Isn't Matt Mercer the main guy? I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was. I'll have um, to, I'd have at... to listen to his voice again because once you watch Critical Role, you can definitely voice. He's got a very subtle little growl. 
The, oh, yeah. It's so subtle, but it's definitely always there. Because I, I was watching Justin uh, play Battlefront 2 last night for a little bit, and uh, he, he unlocked Luke Skywalker for a little bit, and he, he even mentioned, he's like, is that Matthew Mercer? And I, like, I was listening in again, and it was very subtle, but it ended up, yes, it was him. I was like, oh, there you go. Uh, let me just catch to a chat before we continue here. Uh, you have a suggestion, not sure if it's right, but I'll, I'll keep it to myself. No, Moxie, go ahead. And if you have a suggestion, go ahead. I'm always open to hear stuff. Uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield need 10.3 gigs of storage to download, apparently. That is a pretty big for a Pokemon game. And this um, is probably but... why they were they aren't including that because the game is enough for Yeah, I mean, I don't, people are going to complain one way or another regarding Pokemon games. I'm still going to play it, and I'm going to... I, mean, I, I never... I really never get download digital games of console ver uh, console games. I'll I want the physical copies. So oh, yeah, same. But honestly, um, I'm just like whatever um, lessens the stress and strain on the lo on the like the people who need to do like the modeling and the animation, the and and all that shit. Whatever means avoids whatever avoids crunch. I'm gonna support. Right. Because crunch Alrighty. is just going to lead to burnout. Yeah, and like... Uh, it's unfortunate truth of the gaming industry, but also at the same time, it's it's the truth about most industries. Like, most jobs, especially corporate, you're going to have that. And it's, it is stupid. But they, they impose these deadlines thinking that, oh yeah, that's enough time, but it's like they don't realize... Or upper management doesn't realize the amount of work that it takes to present whatever thing that they want. And that's why um, I love indie. If only that it worked like that for jobs as well. I mean, not to say all jobs are crunched, but it's kind of hard. I mean, you've got more experience with the workforce than I do. Oh yeah, it's fun. The window slides open immediately. The guard so still sounds sleepy. Uh, yeah, what is it? I wanted to ask you about this flyer. Oh, the Idol concert. Yeah, that's been cancelled. Uh, I know, but uh, why was it cancelled? Why do you think? The body of that college girl, obviously. Why'd you make me say it? Jeez, why isn't he working tonight? Uh... He? The guard on shift tomorrow is a Cruce fan. He will not stop talking about her. It drives me crazy. I'm sure he'd be happy to answer all your questions about her. He talked the ear off a fellow fan. No, I wouldn't say I'm exactly a fan. Okay, you're starting to get on my nerves. Hurry and go if you don't want me to call the cops. Oh, damn idol otaku. Damn, Japan, okay. Well, I don't know what... <laughs> True, there's a difference between the taco and weeb. Yeah. Uh, you look put out. How'd it go? Apparently the concert was cancelled. But we already knew that. Is that all you found out? No, there's one other thing. Sounds like the guard on duty tomorrow is a huge Momokurose fan. Uh, Momokurose fan? Um, is that important? Yeah, I mean, you're gonna be a distraction. The guard is gonna be like that one guard in Metal Gear Rising with that anime mag? Yes! <laughs> Oh no! I, I didn't. I didn't play much of that game. Like, is there is there a character like that? Yeah, yeah. I think it's the running joke character called Johnny, which I think is like an joke dude. Oh, Johnny's in in Rising too. He's in all of them, I think. Oh, he, he, in some capacity, yeah. He he's in all of Metal Gear games because he is a running gag, like with the developers themselves. Because it's an in joke. Yeah, but, uh, but then he. It's a nice thing for him and for it's a nice through line yeah 
there are other places we should check out. I better get to it. Nah, Johnny ain't that one, I think, though. Oh, okay. Eh, I don't know. Uh, the park entrance, the main gate is closed. I don't see any security cameras. Uh, you're right. I don't see any either. <laughs> How sloppy. <laughs> but it works out for us. Yeah, the gate isn't very tall either. Does that mean... There's no issue with jumping the gate? Uh, only if the guards don't spot us. I see the plan. And that's the sticking point, of course. I think I've checked everything I can around the main entrance. Okay, I think I'm done here. If you plan to investigate inside, then I don't think you could... Well, sure, but what about the guard? Oh, yeah, that that's a problem. We'll just have to force our way in. It's not too tall, so hopping in will be a cinch. Sure, it's an easy for a muscle freak like you. Hazuki and I aren't so inclined. We need some time to climb over, or climb our way over. That loss of time would be fatal. It's too risky. True. No, I don't want to go on my own. <laughs> then I'll just go on my own for a quick look. Whoa, hold on, are you serious? Yeah. We came all this way. It'd suck if we just go back empty-handed. Yeah, but how do you? What do you plan to do after you're getting in? Well, how about I throw a rock in Hiroshima Lake? Maybe that'll make the Hiroshima woman appear. Don't do it. You'll be cussed. Only if the rumor is true. We'll have to take some risks at some point if we're gonna go after Hiroshima woman. Just a matter of time. But... Okay, well that's your decision, Nakata. I'll support it. Hazuki and I will distract the guard. Take the chance to sneak in. Right, I'll leave that to you. And see, that, that's exactly what I was thinking of, um, Rube. Is like, because, it, like, why can't I unlock the gate on the other side? Unless there's somehow I can't do so, but... That's what I would think would be necessary to do. I mean, there's another option. Wait till tomorrow and get... Um... Momo to distract the god, who I'm honestly, I wouldn't be... You know, the... Chubby guy? Just because that'd be oh, funny. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or sneak in during the day and just hide. So they lock you in. But I think they want, they want to see things tonight. I don't think they feel like waiting at this point. I don't know, but it'd be a good plan, bae. <laughs> Dips toe in water. Yep, yeah, looks like it's cursed. <laughs> uh, I guess our roles are set then. Azuki, I'm gonna need your help. Yeah, alright. Two huddled together to plan their strategy. Sounds like they were going to cause some kind of disturbance to distract the guard. And that's the plan. All you need to do is keep up. I get the feeling you're a pretty bad actor. <laughs> I'll show you my true power. I can ad-lib the particulars, right? Whoa, hey, please just don't do anything stupid. All right, Akita, we're off. Figure out the time on your own. Just get inside. They're making their way o over toward the security station. Oh, am I going to get the opportunity to be a melodramatic little bitch? <laughs> uh, probably. I'm really sorry, Karuko. I forgot and left your present in the park. I'll give it to you tomorrow. Please forgive me. How could you say you know? It's my birthday today, and I was really looking to open. No, not just me. Even 
this child in my womb. Huh? Child? That wasn't part of the plan? I'm sure I've conceived. It's yours. You're happy for us, right? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Seriously? Your face. Are you going to dare to say that it's not yours? No, that's not... Don't give me any of your shit. It's definitely your child. I'll... I'll make you acknowledge it. No matter what. Hey, you two. What's all the fuss about? Take her quarrel elsewhere. Shut up! You know what? It's your fault to begin with since you won't let him inside the park. B but I can't. If my trauma causes me to lose my child, are you going to take responsibility? Huh? Uh, uh. How to calm down? Wow, Azuki's amazing. <laughs> Whoops, uh, no time to be distracted. Now's my chance. Well, Hazuki successfully distracting the guard, I hop over to main gate. That was fun. Like, it's, it's straight up turned into a soap opera or a telenovela. It's, it's great. Yeah, Telenovela. telenovelas. <laughs> every... every Every country and culture has their soap operas. I mean, because I've heard many great things about Korean soap operas, uh, Indian soap operas, or even like uh, Egyptian soap operas. I mean, that, that's what my parents watch a lot or nearly all the time. And it's like, it's funny because it's like, I'm like, sometimes I'm, you know, I, I you know I go in the living room, I, I sit down for a while with them and I watch, I'm like, Oh my god, I was like, this is just a soap opera, just it's just an Arabic, you know? But sometimes it's great. Sometimes I mean, they're funny as hell. Corey and EastEnders are a, a pop. <laughs> mm. I just hate how that genre specific, oh, specifically over you. The bitch just fucking talk to each other, please, but they don't. Hmm, well, they need a drama. I know, but miscommunication is such an annoying trick. It is. Like, so many movies and games could be solved if they just waited one minute to explain, and then, oh, okay. I don't stop after getting over the gate. I jog straight down the wide road. Soon I reach an open space with a fountain. I'm probably far enough now. If I remember the map by the entrance, there's some kind of boat dock ahead. That must be where the college girl threw the rock into the lake. May as well give it a try. I gotta confirm the Hiroshima woman rumor. I bend down and pick up a rock. I got a throwable rock. But I'm gonna do that last. I'm going to investigate first. Ah, I don't like the mist though. It freaks me out. I love the mist. Actually, have you watched the mist? No, the mist. Is that the one with uh? Oh, what's his name? I mean, the guy who played. Versions. Well, one's a miniseries. I did not watch the miniseries. What? What? Which one was the movie? I. Was that the? Was that the? Is that the one with the really shock ending? Yes. Okay, I've heard of it. I I know the plot twist ending, but I haven't actually watched. Yeah, I the watched. Series. The, I've watched the kill count on it. That's all I know. Well, he did a kill count on it. I missed that. Oh, sorry about that, Rue. <laughs> But yeah, he did do a kill count on it. <laughs> well, what, what what was the last kill count he did? I think I missed it on Friday. Uh, oh, Candyman. Never mind. I watched it. Yeah. Candyman, you know, I mean, representing because that, that was good. That was that was that looked like a... it. It from what I remember, it was a pretty damn good movie. Um, I don't remember watching the sequels. Now the remake, they're filming it right now. Or a reboot, um, 
And funny enough, I was going to go, like, to be an extra, but I was like, eh. Uh-oh. Uh, guys, would you give me one moment? I'll be right back. That's Gucci. Ooh, maybe you watched it a bit younger than Rue. Like, I don't- I can't remember what age range middle school but it sounds pretty young. That'd be juniors, I think. So, about seven through- like, six or seven through ten? That's... Why did your parents let you watch that movie that young? Yeah, I saw I saw that trailer. Look around to watching that. Hey, they've got such good humour. Oh, uh, why did your friends' parents let you watch that at such a young age? That's valid. Just a simple case of underestimation. Hang on, didn't plan movies are age rated, like what, what, what was the what was the misrated then? If you if you manage to underestimate it, oh, that makes sense. I don't know why the fuck that that kind of a movie is fucking 13, but I can understand why you underestimate it with kind of rating. Well, everyone has different tolerances, I guess, Justin. I don't know. All right, sorry about that. I like got kind you of someone. Like, by the way. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's like I, I kind of like I, I had to answer that call to see exactly who it was and. It's fine. It was there was nothing personal. Like some guy wanted like donations for something, and then the call dropped. I'm like, whoops. Well, alrighty. Alrighty. Um, did I miss anything here? Now just discussing like how on earth wound up what the mist when they were so damn young. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, I like Dead Meat. It's such a good channel. They just came out with a documentary about old school horror. I saw bits and pieces. I saw when I was younger. It didn't really affect me. I think. Yeah, I'm still. I uh, like some some of the de the the kill counts. I don't want to see the ones, but the gore porn series, kind of like Saw and and Hostel and um, Final Destination. Uh, I'm not gonna watch those. I was like, eh. But um. I don't know. It's weird. Like I, I don't like horror movies, but I don't mind watching Dead Meat. That's yeah, because he's so. break, he, the way his humor in there definitely breaks. Like absolutely, that's why one of the reasons why I like his channel so much. Right. Because like, because because of his all the jokes interspersed, and the fact that he doesn't actually show extended portions of the movie, I mean, he can't because copyright. But the fact exactly. that it is so broken up and interspersed with his pretty decently awesome sense of humor, it, de it doesn't give my anxiety anything to latch on to. Right. I do feel bad for him, though, whenever... Because sometimes he does, like, stream his editing process. And just looking at how he looks when he's editing and then dealing with the chat, I feel so much pain for him because he gets... Obviously, he gets frustrated from the people who keep demanding movies that he does. And there's an FAQ that he has. It's like, guys, if you want to request a movie, email it on this particular email address. And don't 
get mad if he's not going to respond to you, you know? But, and I, I just see the pain in his face, you know? Like, and just him trying to edit, because it's, like, it's extensive. I mean, even the editing that I do for my LPs, they're not, like, they're not, like, huge at all. Like, I mean, it's, it still takes some time, but it's nothing, like, spectacular that I do. But just the idea of, like, do like blurring something and have that blur the something is just what <laughs> mm. like just to, to me just that is terrifyingly complicated <laughs> alrighty here I think I checked on the light here it's closed right now so the lights are off as someone's who is someone who's sneaking in I appreciate the lack of light there's no water running into it Probably because it's after hours. Is that blue box on the screen for everyone else, or is that just because of the screen sharing? That's, that's because of that. Never mind, you should not have it anymore. There we go. Damn it, Sorry. I'm trying to get the... There. No time to check it out now. Okay, I think that was it. Um, yeah, okay. Let's go to the left. Oh, the boat dock where a girl threw a rocket is north of Central Plaza. Better head straight there. No, I want to go. Oh, that's stupid. Okay, well. We're going down to the boat dock. <laughs> Let's see. There's a thing there. There's the boat. There's the shutter. There's the pole. Nothing up here. Nothing up there. Okay. Random question that occurred to because we saw because they saw those bins. In the states, are there like like separate like bins specifically for like for for the bags of dog shit? Um, sometimes. I mean, if if it's a if it's a popular area for walking your dog, then uh sometimes yeah, it, there will be a um a particular can or bag for your dog poo so i was wondering because we have those i was wondering if maybe if japan had them because like, if you're gonna bring your doggo down to the docks would be a nice place to bring the doggo uh, one of those types of trash cans you find at theme parks no time to check it right now <laughs> yeah, there is plenty of time to check it right now must be a restricted area there are chains on the poles yeah, that's not gonna stop me. I can, I can, even I can hop over those. This boy is definitely dedicated. It's a boat rental booth. No time to check it out now. <laughs> There's plenty of time. The rental boat floats beside the dock. Beyond the boat is Hiroshima Lake, shrouded in darkness. Rumors say if I throw a rock into the boat water here, I might see the Hiroshima woman. There's no guarantee she'll appear. The college girl who died apparently didn't see her. Well, I guess I throw my rock in now, or do I have to go in closer? Let's see. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Got to throw a rock, so I walk to the dock. That rhymed. I climb into the boat and tie and tie it up there. You need to climb into the boat. Now, whenever I take the throwable rock from my pocket and toss it into the water a short distance away. A warm, fishy breeze distinct to lakes blows past me. But it doesn't feel like anything's happening. I better get back. Feeling a slight chill, I climb out of the boat and return to shore. It's Amanome. I didn't hear anything ring, though. Hey, what's up? Uh, time's up, Akita. The guard's about to go on patrol. Get out quick so he doesn't run into you. Got it. Meet us in front of the uh, Kisoji station. We'll stand, out if we, we'll stand out we gather by the gate every time. Azuki and I will head out now. Later. I didn't see the Urashima woman like we hoped, but it's good enough for the first day for scouting. Eh, guess rumors are just that. 
Doubt that college girl ever even died because of the Orishima woman. I'm no ghost otaku like Hazuki, so this is pretty much what I expected. But if that's the case, where is this Orishima woman uh, Kaguya was talking about? I'll think about it later. Right now, I need to get out of here fast. As I take a step, my attention gets caught. Is that a sound coming from the lake? I turn back and everything looks the same. Must have been a fish or something. I sprint full speed from the boat dock all the way to the central plaza. I hop over the gate without breaking a sweat, leave the shrine, and disappear into the night. Doesn't seem like a guard noticed me. So late, he's probably out of it. Right. It doesn't take me long to reach Kasoji Station entrance, where, where we decide we'd meet. There are people rushing inside. It must also be time for the final train. See, that's also kind of interesting regarding what Japan's uh, train system is. If you miss that final train, you're boned. You, you have to wait until they go back, like, in the morning, and it's like... I, I think that's why, like, there's... I don't know if the stereotype or just kind of known that that's why a lot of like drunk salarymen or they're just kind of sp sprawled out on benches on the street. Um, if they've been out drinking to Mr. Train. I don't know. Oh, welcome back. I'm glad to see you're safe. We had a lot of trouble while distracting the guard to get you inside. A certain someone had a rather impassioned performance. <laughs> I got a little caught up in the moment. But hey, we got his attention at least. Right, Kojima? I mean, yeah, they worked. I'm pretty good, right? So, how was it inside Yamato Shrine? Was the Urashima woman there? I tossed a rock into the lake, but nothing showed up. <gasps> Whoa, mm -hmm. you actually threw a rock in? I hope that ghost didn't follow you back. Are you feeling okay? No stomach aches? Is that one word? I thought it was two. Oh no. <laughs> It just looks weird when you just kind of combine it. Eh, it does. Okay. Like, I write it as two. I'm fine as far as I know. Then I guess we don't have to worry for now. It might be wise to burn some incense when you get home, just in case. Can we move off this occult topic? We need to focus on coming up with a way to sneak into the park. We can't do a performance like that every time. Amanomi's right. All of us might not make it in, but maybe we can figure out a way for at least two of us. I'd like to look the Urashima woman too. Yeah, easier said than done. Oh. The garden shift tomorrow is a Momo Kurose fed, right? According to that guy, yeah. The guard had absolutely had it with the other guard over it. He must be a hardcore fan. <laughs> well then, that, this might not be a bad idea. What are you thinking? Eh, just that the odds will be in our favor tomorrow. The guard's a big Karase fan, right? And he's probably not used to talking to girls. So... Amanome looks at Hazuki, uh, speculatively. I thought she can use her, uh, wiles to lend a hand. You're a live-or-die obsessed Momokurose fan, too. You must know exactly what kind of things would make that type of guy happy. Huh? Hey, just what the hell are you saying? The look on Hazuki's face. I brace for another blow up, but. I see. 
Hmm, that might not be too bad. Well, that's a surprise. She just let Aminoma's comments roll off her back. Hazuki, you don't mind? I'll do my best. It's for the Hiroshima woman and Ami. Hmm. I'll leave it to you then. You're sure you're fine with it? I'm looking forward to it. I mean, okay, so I'm the type of guy who... I had to, like, always double-check. Like, absolutely certain everything's fine, so... Yeah, You're I'm absolutely sure... Yeah, you're sure you're fine with it? Oh, are you worried about me? Thanks, but it's okay. Just leave it to me. It wouldn't be such a hassle if we only had to access the shrine. We could do our business there during the day. Shimba woman sightings are only. Besides, it's standard ghost protocol to appear at midnight. I haven't affirmed for myself the existence of ghosts yet. It's entirely possible it's just a pregnant woman on a stroll. No, it's definitely a ghost. And not just a ghost, but a spirit. My sixth sense is telling me. Uh, there's no debating with you. Oh, uh, one more thing. Don't tell Miss Natsumi about this. She tried to stop us. Not a word to the police or anyone else either. I know, I know. Believe me, I'm painfully aware of how... All right, I'm off. I have an assembly to attend to. See you guys tomorrow night. He turns around and heads off, disappearing into the neon lights of downtown. Uh, I think I'm gonna go too. Oh, hold up a sec, Kojima. Ami told me that you live near the underpass. My place is that way too. Why don't we head home together? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Let's get going. We take off together toward my apartment. Ever since that day, I make it a point to walk through the underpass on my way home. If I go through this creepy place, I might be able to meet with Kaguya again. That's where you and Ami got photos taken, right? I heard one of them was crazy intense ghost fiction. You have no idea how jealous I am. That happened the day after I got that black postcard. Maybe the game had already started by then. Ami told you all that? She's really proud of her big brother, you know. She talks about you constantly. Like how you like motorcycles. You bought a new bike recently, right? Some big machine with plenty of horsepower. You know even that? Your motorcycle sounds really interesting. I'd love to ride it sometime, if you don't mind. Um, if I feel like it. Arigato. I looked forward to it then. Aww. I love her so much. So the place where the van attacked you is... Right around here. Did Yuri's ghost really appear? There was a shadow that could have been her. I see. 
I point out the spot where I saw it, and Hazuki stares at it for a while. Is she getting teary? She's been constantly offering flowers ever since Yeri died. They were best friends. I should have come and offered flowers that day. Ami wanted me to join you. I should have listened to her. I could have seen a real spirit. That's why you're sad? <laughs> In joking, of course. And I wish I could have seen Yuri. There's so much that I want to talk to her about. And maybe I could have saved Ami. Uh, be realistic. It wouldn't have changed anything if you'd been there. If she'd been with us that day, she would have been killed by the out-of-control van. I saved myself, and Ami made it because she was small. But Hazuki would have had no chance. You're right. I don't have your strength. The only thing I have to offer is knowledge of the occult supernatural phenomena. Please come to me if there's anything you want to... Anything at all. Supernatural phenomenon, hey? I think back over the past two days. The runaway van, Yuri's ghost, Kaguya. Pretty sure I told her everything. Oh, there was that one other thing. I could ask about that phenomenon. There is one thing I want to ask you about, Hazuki. Um, ever hear of anything that, about being able to see things when you touch blood? Like a movie plays in your head? It's hard to explain. Hmm. That sounds like ESP. Maybe some form of psychometry? What's that? It's a form of ESP where residual from an object can be read. Like, you could read fossils and ruins, how people back during that time period lived. Ooh, an archaeologist with that would be so cool. <laughs> hmm. Then what I saw when I touched the headphones were Ami's thoughts? Are you saying this happened to you, Kijima? Yeah. I gave her a quick recap of what happened to me when I touched the blood in the headphones. Th that's incredible! If that's true, then that's just amazing! I can't say I expected her to get so excited. She's even breathing hard. I'm shocked! You have a gift for these sorts of things. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, you look happy. I would be if I were you. Having your own unique special power is great. Anyway, I'd love to take a look. Do you have the headphones with you? Uh, no, I lost them at home. Then we need to get to your place. Hazuki takes off like a shot. <laughs> Man, when you fire her passion like the into the cult, she runs with it. Literally. <laughs> the focus is one half. <laughs> <laughs> I take off in a sprint after her. I wasn't racing or anything, but I'm the first to arrive in my apartment. Hazuki stumbles up after a while later, out of breath. You're too fast, Kiji. <laughs> I could make a comment there. Oh, uh, yeah. Running at that speed, and you're still not tired. That's inhuman. 
You must be related to Turbo Granny. Ooh, I think that's a boss in No More Heroes. Uh, I'm sorry, yours. <laughs> okay. Human Weapon, Abominable Snowman, ESP, and now a Creature of Urban Legend. Just how the hell does, does Hazuki see me? <clears throat> I'm just gonna take a breather here. Could you bring out the headphones? Thanks. I duck in and grab in the headphones from where I left them in the living room and return outside. Here. This is the pad that Yuri gave Ami, right? Ami would listen to Momo songs all the time. And that's the blood? Is it Ami's? That's my guess. No point in thinking about it, I said. Let's try it. Just like last time, and reach out toward a bloodstain. Something's there, but it doesn't make any sense. The voices are fuzzy, too. Oh, okay. I read something from a spiritualist that said this. Apparently, the focus point virtual visions. Focus everything there and imagine a third. I'm sure it'll clear things up. Hmm. Focus. The third eye stuff is beyond me, but I do know concentration is important. Sharpening your concentration to limit lets you see a lot of things you missed before. Like my enemy's breathing and movement patterns. If I can feel them, my body acts on its own. I'm a gnomic claims the reason I'm def undefeated is because of my intense focus and quick reflexes. So... What if I put all my focus and con uh, concentration toward the blood instead of my enemies? Yeah, may, may as well see if it works. Remember how it feels. This time it's clear. This is my bathroom. Cleaning time. Cleaning time. I have to finish before it's time to eat. Ami's voice echoes in my head. stir-fried vegetables. Everything tastes so good when Big Brother makes He's going to be a good husband someday. <laughs> ah! Oh, ouch! I caught my toe on something. Looks like I'm bleeding a little. Ah, me. Huh? Is that a voice coming from my headphones? Ah. 
Oh, me. Offer me flowers. I'll be waiting. I'll for sure go off for some tomorrow. I'll bring you new flowers. Wait, that that might be. Yeah, probably. What's his name doing? Talking. Wait, it looks like she doesn't see the shadow reflected in the mirror. Uh, hey, Ami, food's up. Ah, okay. Be right there. I saw it. I heard Ami's voice too. Really? So you really are reading thoughts from Black? It's like a special form of psychometry. We can call it bloodmetry. I have a power like that. It's hard to believe, but what I saw is real. I'm not imagining things. So, what was in the vision? I let Hazuki know everything about the from the vision. What? Yuri's voice came from her head. Why would she do that to Ami? No, that wasn't... Kaguya did it. The shape I saw in the mirror. I'm sure of it. But why would she do that? Why else? To get Ami to make an offering. That's the game Kaguya set for her. And you disappear if you lose the game? Does that mean Ami disappeared because she couldn't make the... Well, that's my guess. Mm. What? Oh, poor Ami. Taking advantage of how much she cares for Yuri. It's unforgivable! I'm so pissed off! Well, how am I even supposed to react to this? Uh... I don't, I don't want to be happy about it. I might... Yeah, I don't know. I might be overthinking this. Um... Should I just be, like, neutral about it? Because I'm, I'm not really trying to react. Uh, I don't know, oh, maybe. I don't know. Oh, well. How calm you are, Kojima. That's just like you. Alright. I've decided. My game face is on. It's time to get serious. It all goes down tomorrow. The whole lending a hand thing? Exactly. For Ami, I'll go as far as I need to. Uh, well, don't go overboard. Oh, yes, that's right. Mind if I have your phone number, Kojima? It'd be a good idea for us to be able to contact you. Plus, there could be things I want to talk to you about. I've got a lot of stress piled up, and Ami and Yuri aren't 
Hey, no gab sessions, okay? But your personality just makes me feel like I... The two of us exchange our cell phone numbers. Well, I don't want to overstay my welcome. Oh, I'll start heading... It's late. You going to be okay? I'm not too far from here. Don't worry. Good night. Yeah, I got them digits, yo. <laughs> nice. Well, Nobody without another word, phone number was that easy. <laughs> uh, well, without another word, Hazuki dashes off. Blood tree, huh? I stared down at my hand. It's still hard to believe. But this weird power might help me get to the bottom of this mess. I need to take a break. Ugh. Man, I'm tired. Now, it's kind of weird that I can't just immediately go to bed. I don't know. I'm thinking about it too much. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and save. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take our first break. And I don't know, maybe... Who knows? Maybe after this, we might be able to finish off the rest of the chapter. I'm not really sure how it's going to work. I, Cause get, I don't know. I get the feeling this is going to... If we try and... I'm sorry, you were cutting up there. If we do what now? I feel like if we do try and finish this chapter, we might wind up cutting into like midnight, 1 a.m. of territory. <sighs> well, well, what time is it? I mean, it's, it's three right now. If we assume it takes another like hour and a half or so, then I think that'll be okay. Um, We'll see. <laughs> From we'll, the we'll figure... business, yeah. Yeah, I think I might try that. I might, might, might be able to get myself a DF that way. Uh, I guess I'm still screwed then, because I don't want to join the occult business. I love occult shit so much. Eh, I mean, in games it's fine, but that's about it. Like, um... horror in general is so versatile. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Well... Let's go ahead and take our first break. Wait, this chapter is almost four hours, I think. Uh, well, we're almost two hours in, so... We should be okay then, actually. I think so. We'll see what's up. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, mute oh. my mic and then go off and do a thing. Yep, I'm gonna do the same thing. See you in a bit, Alrighty, guys. See you in a bit, guys. See, see you in a little bit, everybody.